So it's currently Tuesday morning, a little bit past 6.30. Sarah is currently doing uh, two weeks of nights, which means she gets home around 6.45. So we'll be seeing her in a little bit. It's a turn now. Just in time, baby. Typical Tuesday for me involves this first period of the day where I am just working on schoolwork for the first hour and a half. Um, but today's looks a little bit different because I'm doing a video project for the school and I use this microphone from the film department, but unfortunately it has lots of static. And then I grab this microphone, but the battery um, is seems to be dead. It worked last year. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna go to a battery store, replace the battery, and see if this will work, hopefully, because I won't have any more time before I have to do my film project at the later in the day. So, not the typical morning, but let's go. Do you have this battery? Yes, sir. Yeah, we should be able to take care yes, of it. We do. Awesome. The battery was the problem, so hopefully the audio will be much better now. Thanks, batteries and bulbs. Since it's the week before midterms, we don't have a ton of stuff to do except some review. And so now I have about 30 minutes to my first class. So the easiest way to do them, multiply by each other, which would be 30. I converted it to decimals. Advisor. You're pretty lucky. This is a good group. This is an excellent group. Why are, we, why are we writing mission statements? To share what our goals are. Our yeah. goals. 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 Like and strengths life. and values that we yeah. value. This is going to be on YouTube, right? Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, good. But my mission statement is. I'm committed to being funny, being a good conversationalist, being a good leader, and being a productive worker so that I can have lots of friends and still be able to do all my work. This is math class. We are learning about, um, uh, what is it? Expressions and equations, uh, like basic, um, like algebraic thinking. Headed down south to the early elementary campus to work on a holiday video to get some kids saying some nice, fun things about peace. That's like eight months to, I don't know, like four years old. And then heading to the elementary school of, of kinder to first grade. So hopefully the traffic isn't bad. Here I go. mean to you? Hmm. What is the most peaceful place you've ever been? Las Vegas. Why is Las Vegas peaceful? Because it's so quiet. <laughs> I play with my toy upstairs. And that's peace? Yeah. That is peace. When I say, what does peace mean? What comes to your mind? What do you think about? If you need space, you just go away. So I just got done with the early childhood interviews. I think those will probably be the best ones. The kids were super cute and had no idea. Well, I guess maybe they had a really good idea of what peace meant, um, but it was really good. So I'm headed to the elementary school now. And then the, the microphone bamba the noise bounce off to two other people. Yeah, you talk in the microphone and then the people will be able to hear what you said later on. What does peace mean to you? Being nice and taking care of your friends. What I mostly think it is is like quiet and not bothering you that much. 
So I just finished up with the elementary school, had some young ones like first, second grade, had some fourth and fifth graders. Um, pretty good answers here too. And I'm pretty excited to see what the middle school and high schoolers will say. Oh, because it's a negative. Yeah, okay. so when so, we add to it to get zero. Okay. Um, Neither of these guys have to be here but they just love math so darn much that they <laughs> okay. just can't stop. So negative plus negative. So it's 5.50, I'm leaving school. I'm not normally here this late, but I had a student-led conference um, with one of my students and her parents after my office hours. Pretty productive day, not my most ordinary day. I'm not usually running about as much, um, not nearly as much, it was really fun. So I'm home, I decided to eat a lunch. One of my lunches that I had planned for the week became a dinner because I didn't put anything down to thaw out. I'm watching a vlog on YouTube, Casey Neistat vlogs. I think they're really awesome and really well put together and partly inspiring on why I kind of like to put vlogs. I will see if I can do some voiceover work um, and maybe put some video stuff together. This is my voiceover room. It's a closet with blankets and comforters. And I usually hang up my iPad right there, um, which will have my script or whatever I'm reading. Um, and then I'll read it from here. Meet Ethan. Like you, he wanted to grow his business. So he decided to purchase an off the shelf so he decided to purchase an off the so he decided to purchase an off the shelf software package to save time. So he decided to purchase an off the so he decided to purchase an off the shelf software package to save time and money. And that's a voiceover.